We have a question from Patrick. At what point should someone quit buying heavier kettlebells and move on to basic barbell lifts? You know, I'm gonna stop right there. I still love, Patrick, the original three choices. You could get the 16, the 24, and the 32. If we could magically go back in time and never make any of the other bells, I would be a much happier person because I wouldn't have to spend so much time dealing with this issue. In my gym, we have an 18 kilo bell, 18 kilos, because the 16 was too light, the 24 too heavy, the 20 was too light, so we got an 18. You know, you start to run into these numbers. The 22 kilo bell, who needed that? Um, so, I regress. Uh, during the pandemic, during the pandemic, my wife and I quit our gym membership and have slowly been building our kettlebell and dumbbell collection. Currently, my heaviest bells are 32 and 228K bells. I compress the single bell and double bells eight times. Oh, you're, that's not bad. I am wondering if breaking down and buying a barbell and some bumper plates would be a wiser choice than buying heavier bells. Uh, Patrick, let me just give you my little magical thing that I tell people. So, and I've mentioned this before. Um, if you're male and you've never done kettlebells, you buy a 20. If you're female and you've never done kettlebells, you buy a 10. After, as a male, you get you use that 20 for a while, uh, buy a 20, 24. Now, I know it's against, again, what I just said about only having three, but the 20 is magical. Once you get a 24, after a while, you start, like you notice, you start to, it gets too light. I like where you had it went. Next, you got the the 28s, and then from there, the 32. The direction I tell people to go after that is doubles. So in a perfect in a perfect gym for you, Patrick, at the strength levels, I'm guessing, double 20s, double 24s, double 28s, double 32s. Uh, if, you know, and the nice thing is, if you're buying bells for your wife too, uh, 10s, 12s, 16s, and man, you guys have everything you need in the world of kettlebells. Going heavier in the bells isn't isn't worth the time and money. You're not going to use them. Uh, I have double 36s and I have a, a 48. Sure, we use them, but uh, for for most kettlebell exercises, you're, they're, they're, they're not used very much. And you have to be fairly strong to play with them. Um, an inexpensive barbell and bumper plates would, yes, that would be a definite yes for me. I'd love to have had this question kind of back in time a little bit. Uh, I would love to have seen you get the 16, 24, 28, just singles, and then pick up a barbell then, and then fill in your collection uh, to get the doubles up. Uh, with a, a barbell, a suspension trainer, barbell suspension trainer, that mix of kettlebells, you know, you might, a pull-up station, I mean, an ab wheel, you know, five bucks, um, you're going to be set for life. So I like where your head's at. Um, you got to make that financial decision yourself, but I've never seen the value of buying heavier bells. So how do I end up with heavier bells? Uh, we have a place over here that, you know, it's one of those places you can buy stuff. Uh, you know, we you know, fall off the back of the truck, you know, kind of places. And I got a call one day from my brother-in-law. He said, there's a bunch of really nice kettlebells here. So I got, in, I got my car, drove out there, and, uh, well, one time I bought two 24s and a, and a 36 for a total of $60, which of course, I think the shipping for a 24 is about that much. So uh, kind of keep your eyes open. You might be able to get some real good deals, okay? Uh, one thing I did learn, don't go cheap on a barbell. Uh, certainly, I don't, you don't need the one that they're using on the Olympic you know, platform, but a good barbell is worth the money. Don't worry too much about spending a lot of money on bumper plates. Uh, I have the ones called Hamptons, and they're just fine. They're metal with just rubber rims for home use. Now, they would fall apart in a in a normal gym setting, uh, in a collegiate weight room, uh, and on the platform. But for home use, they're pretty good. I hope that helps. Thank you very much.